Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Fong. He was a good student, and he loved Star Wars and comics. He passed time happily in class by doodling in his science textbooks. When the O level exams neared, he had to put aside drawing and focus entirely on studying. His hard work was rewarded with ten straight A ones. But too much mugging came at a price. He got so fed up with studying, he lost his passion for science and comics. After the exam, he gave everything he learned back to his teachers. That boy was me, Otto Fong. Some years later, I became an engineer. I wasn't happy and quit after two years. Fortunately, I still believe in science. Because I never stopped loving Star Wars, so I became a science teacher. As a teacher, I wondered what could I do to get my students to love science. Draw comics. The first time I drew a comic in class, it clicked with the kids immediately. This time, my comics were not just doodles in my textbook, but on the whiteboard in front of the whole classroom. After eight years of teaching science, I took all the best bit of my science lessons and created a science comic book. I called it Sir Fong's Adventures in Science. Because my first batch of students were born in the year of the rabbits, I used bunnies as my science heroes. Also, everyone loves bunnies. When I drew the comic, I was again transported back to the days when I was doodling happily away in my science textbooks. The joy I experienced combining science and comics is now the joy I share with my young readers. Maybe, just maybe, some Asian kids will grow up loving science and become famous Asian science heroes. They will fight tsunamis, bird flu, earthquakes, global warming. Because they grew up loving Sir Fong comics. In retrospect, all I did was to unleash my bunnies on pages after pages of science concepts, and the joy I experienced as a young student studying science is now the joy of my young readers.